Hey guys, Wells Knight here, and welcome back to another episode from the Hermitcraft server. We're back today at our mushroom mushroom shop monument thing. <laughs> and I've done a little bit of work between episodes, not a whole lot. I put some windows in. Uh, I did some of the interior uh, floor and stuff like that, but not a whole lot of work has been done. Um, as for this tower, you guys, it was like a 50-50 split. <laughs> Just straight down the middle. Some of you love the inclusion of the mushroom blocks. Some of you hate the inclusion of the mushroom blocks. I think we're going to keep it. It's growing on me, and I like it. Um, the more I look at it, the more I like it. And you know what? If you don't like it, that's perfectly okay. There's nothing wrong with that opinion. Uh, I can see why you wouldn't. But... Enough of you did like it that I think we're going to leave it alone and, and we'll keep it like that. Uh, I do want to add, uh, a lot of you mentioned I should probably come in here and add some uh, stairs into this. So like little little bits like this to kind of um, break up the, um, that's not a good spot for one. Um, but little little like spruce stairs here and there to kind of add a little bit of depth uh, to parts of the tower. And I, I like that idea. I think it's a good idea. So let's go maybe here and there, right? Just just little bits to kind of, uh, kind of make this look even more a little bit worn down than it was. Uh, so I think we are going to do that. Now, in today's episode, I want to tackle the interior of this thing, and I want to make a little bit of a real simple mushroom farm down here. So I've dug out this big, huge area. Um, mushrooms require a seven by seven space to grow. So if the mushroom is uh, right here, if it's growing on top of a block of mycelium, that's like right there, right? Uh, it needs a seven by seven space. So it needs three blocks in every direction uh, in a square. And then it also needs, I believe, um, 11 high, if I remember correctly, uh, in order to grow. Otherwise, it, it won't grow properly. So uh, I've dug out this big area here, and we're, we're going to turn that into a, a simple little manual mushroom farm where you plant um, a mushroom, grow it up with bone meal, and then you can chop it all down with an axe. Uh, so that's also on the agenda. But what I want to do first in today's episode is I think I want to make, uh, I want to divide this up into rooms, okay? So what we're going to do is I'm just going to put right here. Maybe we'll do a door here, then this will lead up to the tower. And then we'll do over here a maybe a staircase, actually, that goes up. Although I don't know how sensible it would be for you to have a staircase, hit a spot, and then go down. It might look better, though. So let's see. Staircase would start, like, right here. And then this is where it would uh, this is where it would hit the ladder and start going down. And that would give us a reason to have this little part here. I want to basically have two stories uh, once you get past this room. So there'll be uh, one level up here and one level... Uh, down here, and this is, and maybe you would access them through the tower? I'm not really sure yet. Um, but we'll divide this up into rooms. Maybe what we'll do, maybe we'll throw out this staircase idea. Uh, thanks for falling all the way down. I really appreciate that game. Stupid thing. That's okay. Um, so let's see. This right here would be the, the height where we would want uh, our floor for the second level, I think. Like that, okay? And then this would be a wall. And what I'd probably do is like right here to kind of help with this little bit. Maybe we would just bring the concrete up. Something like that, maybe? But we need a way to get up to this level. 
So let's take out those two blocks. Our ladder's gonna go right here. So let's maybe do something like that. And let's see how that looks. And I know I have ladders somewhere. Are they in here? Aha, ladders. <laughs> I knew they were around. And let's just bring Oh, I bet that's that stair. Yeah, you can't put ladders on the back of stairs. Ah, that's unfortunate. That's okay. That's all right. So we'll be able to get up here. And then right here, we'll also be able to get access to the second story uh, and what little space is up here. It's not much, but it's something. Uh, we're also going to have to do some texture variation on this wall, but that's that's okay. So I think this is a layout that we can actually work with. We've got our way down to the farm there. We've got kind of a main area here. And then back here is where we have access to the tower. Maybe we'd put like a little a little bedroom back here uh, where the owner of the mushroom shop lives or, uh, yeah, you know, whatever. Um, now, up here, let's go... Uh, I'm covering up things I don't want to be covering up right now. Come back. Let's go like this. And just bring this wall... out a little bit. So it's flush. It'll still look fine from here. I'm getting shot at. Hi! Hello! Go away. Leave me alone. I don't know where you're sp probably spawning. Yeah, he's, they're spawning on the roofs. Uh, <laughs> okay, well, that's fine. There's not a whole lot I can do about that without covering the roofs in redstone or carpet or lighting of some sort. And I don't particularly want to do that. Uh, anyway, so we've got something like this going. Now we need to fix the roof in here. Fix the ceiling. Because the ceiling up here looks... Whew, that's, that's pretty bad. It's pretty terrible. So let's grab maybe some oak logs. And let's say here. Here and here. We'll bring some logs across as kind of like beams. Right? And then let's grab some dark oak stairs. And maybe we do... Something like... Oh, come back, you. Don't place upside down. Maybe we do something like this. Right? Uh, and we would do the same... There. Oh, man, that's hard to place, but I think we got it. And here... Yeah, so we get something... I need to actually get up there. This is <laughs> this is not working as well as I had thought it was going to. Uh, where did I just place a stair accidentally? Right here, I think. That's fine. You know what? That stake that that stair can stay there for <laughs> forever and ever. Um, and we still need one over there, right up against that edge. Oh, that placed the wrong direction. Right. There. Beautiful. Okay. And then, let's go, maybe we could potentially do another log going down the middle, but I don't think that would look as good as just going with, like, dark oak blocks, honestly. I think what we'll do is we'll just stick with the dark oak blocks like that. There we go. Yeah, that's not too bad. I see I missed a stair right there, but that's an easy fix. Nope. Uh, whatever. Yeah, that seems a lot better. That's a much better uh, ceiling <laughs> than what we had before. I'm good with this. And there shouldn't be any spaces there that are big enough for mobs to spawn. So that'll work for this room. In here, we've got 
uh, this this ceiling, so I'm not super worried about that. I think that'll be fine. Yeah, this is good. This is coming along. Okay, so now I need to do some of the detail work on the walls, get some of that kind of stuff sorted out. I also need to figure out how we're going to do the mushroom farm uh, as far as layout and stuff like that. So let me do some work here, guys. Uh, also, let me get the detail done to the outside of this building like we have with these other ones so it fits in. And I'll be back with you in just a minute. All right, guys, I am back and we are very, very far from home. I was working out the mushroom farm design thing and I was going to use mycelium, which is relatively easy to come by in the server since there are so many people living on mushroom islands. But what I forgot is that the mycelium will eventually turn to dirt uh, with a mushroom growing on top of it, a big mushroom. So I need podzel. And the closest Mega Taiga is at about 0, 12,000. So I have traveled about 12,000 blocks from home. <laughs> and I'm going to get a whole bunch of Podzel here. I figure while well, I'm out here, I might as well get a ton of it. Maybe I'll get some of this Mossy Cobble as well. Um, I know you can craft Mossy Cobble, but it's a lot easier to just grab it while we're here. But yeah, I'm going to fill a shulker box, I think, with Podzel. Um, I don't know that I'll actually need a lot of it over the course of the season, but I figure if I'm going to travel 12,000 blocks to get it, I might as well get a bunch of it. So I'm going to get to grinding. All right, guys, I am back from the Mega Taiga, and I got a pretty fair amount of Podzel. I filled up an entire shulker box full of it. Uh, so... We should be good on Podzel for a while. I also have uh, a bit more somewhere. Here we go in one of these inventories. Um, and then I also got a fair amount of mossy stone while I was at it as well. But I want to work a little bit on the mushroom farm. And I have an idea. I think this will work pretty well. I did a little bit of testing uh, between this spot where we're going to plant the mushroom and the ceiling is six blocks. So one, two, three, four, five, six. And in my testing, the mushroom always grows, the brown mushrooms anyway, which are really the one that I'm interested in actually harvesting lots of, uh, as far as blocks go. Um, the flat, horizontal part of the mushroom always grows to this block level right here. So if we make like a little platform, it should be really easy to quickly harvest the stuff that we need. Let's grab a little bit of brown mushroom here, and then I also want to grab uh, some spruce and some slabs and stairs, and that should be good for now. Oh, and I need some bone blocks or something for some bone meal. There's a little bit of bone meal, and let's just go like that as well. Beautiful. Okay, so here's what I'm thinking, right? We'll plant a mushroom right here, and because it's growing on Podzel, it doesn't matter what the light level is. Uh, if it was growing on just regular dirt, it would need to be very dark in here, and that wouldn't be good. Uh, but we'll make like a little thing like this, I think. And we'll make like a little platform, I guess we would call it, around the edges. So let's go, doo -doo -doo -doo. and actually, let's do some in the middle as well. There we go. And then I don't know if I want to use stairs on the back and then slabs here. Or if I just want to make... I think I, maybe I just want to make the whole thing slabs, honestly. I think the stairs in this situation would look a little bit out of place. So let's fill this part back here in with slabs. Do, 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 do. Uh, I'm going to leave that ladder there for now, although it won't be there in the end. And... Um, there we go. Okay, so we've got like a little platform, right? That kind of comes out. 
Um, and then we need a staircase that goes down. So I'm thinking we'll make that like right about here or so. So you have a way to get down there. Okay. And then we can get rid of this ladder. And let's just put that right here. Okay. Now, if I grow this mushroom, I'm pretty sure... Uh-oh. Uh-oh. It... It's not growing. Hmm. It's got a 7x7 seven seven area. No, it doesn't. Stupid torch. <laughs> now it's got a 7x7 seven seven area. Let's try this again. There we go. Okay, so it grows, and it's right at this height. So we can just walk around the edge with our axe and chop down the whole thing pretty easily and then pick up the drops. So super, super easy. Not a high-tech farm uh, by any means. Obviously no redstone or automated collection system or anything like that involved, but also easier than planting it outside and, you know, doing it that way. Uh, so it gives us like a little area where we can pretty easily get all this stuff uh, chopped down. And I think that'll work out really well. I may... Hmm. I'm trying to decide if I want... to do something with this wall? I feel like I should... I feel like this wall should be something, right? But I need to figure out what that's gonna be. This part is functional, though. So this part works. And uh, we can possibly do something over back here for lighting. Maybe we do, like, little, uh, little fire pits or something back here for lighting. Yeah, let me uh, work on this for a little bit and see what I can come up with. I think we've done it. It's simple, but it works. It gets the job done. I think it'll work. Uh, let's just make sure. Let's try and grow a mushroom. Yep, works perfectly. Look at that. Little mushroom farm. Not too shabby. Not too shabby at all. I think this will work well for our purposes, and it will allow us to chop down all the mushrooms uh, that we need and uh, and get the blocks and all that kind of good stuff. So let's take a little bit of a closer look down here. Just a little thing highlighting the block of podzel that we grow the mushrooms on. We got some lighting back here with fires, a uh, little like fire pits made out of cobblestone. And that's pretty much the build. There's not a whole lot to it, uh, but I didn't want to get too complicated with it. So I think that'll work nicely. The next step, I think, is we need to do the interior of this room um, and some of the other stuff uh, and the rest of the house shop thing <laughs> as well. Uh, let's see here. Let's grab some dark oak slabs. Um, do I have... Do I not have any dark oak stairs? Maybe they're in here. Aha! I knew I had some somewhere. Um, so I'm thinking this is going to be like a little counter, right? So let's just kind of bring this out maybe three blocks. And then we'll put a stair there. Kind of coming down. Or maybe let's actually give ourselves a little bit more space. Let's say counter here. And then maybe like this. Um, maybe like that. Maybe that's the way to go. Yeah, there we go. So you walk in, you get that going. Nice. Upside down stair here. Okay, so we got a little bit of a counter. Remember, this is going to be a shop. So we need to have the things for sale. I'm going to grab some flower pots and let's put a couple of different flower pots over here. We'll put some mushrooms in them. Uh, mushroom, mushroom, and maybe one more red one right there, right? So we've got uh, mushrooms for sale 
along here. Let's maybe do another little table like right here. Or maybe, well, this lighting, this is all gonna have to go because obviously we can't just have the torches on the floor level. That looks very strange. Um, maybe we'll do a little bit of a larger table here like that. And maybe we'll put some chests on there. Yeah, here we go. So we'll put a chest here and you he nope, hey, a chest there and there. And in between, let's put another mushroom, right? So something along those lines. These chests need to go away. So let me get these moved outside. Uh, let's just clear our inventory. Let me get those chests moved out of the way so we can keep working. Okay, I think we are good. Area is cleaned up and I went and I grabbed a couple more things from my storage room. So right here in the center, I think I actually wanna put a trapped chest, okay? So we'll do this stuff here. And then I think we're gonna label these. Um, and on each, we'll have a, oh, or maybe we put this up against this corner. Yeah, 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 let's do that. So right, hmm, do I have, not really. Yeah, let's put this right here. We'll put it up against this corner. We'll go, oh, come back. Chest, chest, trapped chest. And then I want to make a couple item frames. I need a crafting bench. I actually want to have a crafting bench in there, I think. Let's just make one. There we go. And maybe we'll put that in this corner over here. Uh, we need to do something with that space as well, but that's okay. And let's go one, two, three. And we'll go one, two, three, like so. We'll say in this one, we put brown mushrooms. In this one, we put red mushrooms. And in the other one, we put mushroom blocks, like so. I think that'll work. Um, now, we need to figure out our lighting in here. We could, do we have enough room for a chandelier? Mmm, maybe? <laughs> Let's see. It would hang pretty low. Oh man, I think that would be too low. I think that would be too big. It, 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 like, it just doesn't, it takes up too much of the room, um, for it to make sense. But maybe what we could do instead... Maybe we could do something like this and put torches up. Hmm. How could we do that? Let's try this. Uh, I need some scaffolding blocks or something. Here we go. Dirt. That'll work. Because what I'm thinking... Oh, and my torches. What happened to my torches? There they are. Let's get up here uh, and we need to put one right there as well I'm, I'm stuck on something I'm uh, this is not <laughs> working as well as I had thought I'm running into ceilings and things there we go that's better so let's put a torch here and a torch here how much light does that give us does that give us enough that this would be Spawn-proof. Not... Everywhere. Here, for example, not enough light. So, we'd have to do a bit more lighting than that. You can also hear the fires that are down there, but I think that's okay. Um, okay, so let's get rid of this idea. Maybe we go... Maybe we do some carpeting? And we hide some lighting under the carpet. That could work as well. 
And then there's all this space, too. We could maybe do something over here. We could do that. That would help kind of light this up a bit. Or maybe just the one. Maybe not both. Maybe we just have one right here and then maybe one like right there. That looks like it might be enough light. That might work. Then back here, uh, we'll worry. Let's actually put that one right there instead. There we go. We'll worry about this little section in a minute. Although, actually, I think I want a bed right here and then just a little chest right there. And maybe we put just a little painting on the wall. Just a little, just a little something, right? And maybe here, a little painting as well with um, dark oak stairs. Give me a red mushroom. There we go. Maybe right here. Another little table. Flower pot. Red mushroom. Just right there. Right? Because this is the mushroom house. The, or the mushroom shop. So, the more we have, the better. Uh, let me go get some carpets. And let me also take a nap. Tell you what, let me actually finish up the interior. And I'll be back with you. Okay, I think it's finished. Uh, so, this is it. It's kind of nice. We've got uh, our three chests here where they would sell the different types of mushrooms, right? We got our brown mushrooms, our red mushrooms, our mushroom blocks. Over here, there's another little chest, and I, I, I imagine this would be like the payment chest, right? Where people would pay for the uh, the mushrooms that they're buying from the, the shop. Back here, a little bit of an interior type of thing. We already, we did this little bit on camera. Um, I, oh, that reminds me. Oh, I'm stuck on the door. Up here... Uh, I didn't do anything, because I'm not sure exactly what I want to put up here. I might do, like, some sort of, like, a little study, maybe some bookshelves or something. I don't know. There's not really a lot of space to work with, but I'm just not really sure what would fit in that little area. I do see one thing I want to do right here. Let's go. Stare. Stare. Yeah, that's a little nicer. Okay. Um, anyway. So, I think it's good. I think it's good to go. I think this build is uh, is complete other than that little tiny second floor part, but uh, I'm sure you guys will be able to give me some good ideas as to what we're going to do with that. Uh, oh, that reminds me. So, I think... Uh, actually, you know what? I need a tiny little bit of string. <laughs> just a little. Let's just come to our mob farm real quick. Really? Oh, that's right, because I made a bunch of wool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I was going to say, where did all my string go? Uh, <laughs> who's been stealing my string? Nobody. Uh, I used it to make a bunch of wool a while ago, and I haven't really been running my mob farm constantly, because whenever it's running, I get little uh, lag spikes when I'm over here. That'll be fixed once Optifine comes out and we're not playing in an experimental snapshot anymore, or at least so I've been told. Um, but let's put a piece of string right there. Okay. Um, barely visible. Uh, much less visible once all this junk is out of the way. Because <laughs> right now it's very much in the way. Um, but anyway. And then I need... Some brown. Let's just make some carpets. I want to try a couple different colors here. Uh, we did a carpet inside that was brown and dark gray, and I think it works. Uh, it fits with the idea of the, the mushroom shop, I think. But let's try maybe brown and dark gray up there. Uh, I think the brown blends up. Uh, a bit too much with the other stuff that's going on. Maybe we go gray like that. As uh, the idea is that this would be like a little awning. Now there's a slab back here, so I can't uh, I can't put another wool there. But I don't think it's really needed. Um, let's try something entirely different. Oh, fly! For goodness sakes! No game, please. There we go. Let's try something completely different and do some kind of vibrant colors. Maybe we go like red 
and gray or, or green and gray or something along those lines. I think that could be good. Let's maybe try that out and see what we think. I actually, come to think of it, I think I brought some green wool over there, but let's grab some red. Yeah, my green must already be over there. That's okay. Ooh, and let's grab a little bit of cyan as well, because that might look good too. Let's try these out and see what we think. Just give us a little bit of pop of, a little pop of color as you're walking down the street, which I think will be really good. Let's just do, 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 do. And land. Okay. So let's try this. Let's get those back. I thought I had green. Let's go green, green, light gray. Eh. I think I like the light gray better on the outside and then maybe... A cyan in the middle? Ooh, that's not bad. Or maybe we go... Cyan, cyan... Dark gray. Yeah, that's kind of nice too. What about cyan and green? Would that clash? Yeah, that definitely clashes too much. That could also be an option. I think I'm going to go with the cyan. So we'll go cyan and then maybe a light gray right there. And that, you know, it's basically just a little awning over the shop. Um, so, you know, people know that it's a shop, basically. I think it works. But I do think that I am quite happy with this project. I think it came out pretty it turned out pretty well also somebody asked me if that was birch that's not birch that's oak silly thinking i'm be building with birch come on now <laughs> no but anyway i'm happy with this i think it's pretty cool this is actually where we're gonna store all of our mushrooms i think um but yeah unfortunately though i am out of time for this episode so my friends if you enjoyed this video and this little monument to the mushroom <laughs> don't forget to like subscribe and leave me a comment I do appreciate it, and it really helps out my channel. You can also find me on Facebook, Twitter, and Twitch. There are links in the video description below, so check that out as well. Otherwise, guys, thanks for watching, and I'll definitely see you next time.